Hello everyone, today we'll continue with linear graph or how to graph uh, a function into coordinate system. Well, first of all, let's remind what is a coordinate system. In the last chapters we have talked about it. Well, the coordinate system is the intersection of two uh, number lines at point zero by forming a 90 degree angle or uh, being perpendicular to each other. So, as we said, we have two lines or uh, number lines or two axes. We call them as axes. Uh, the horizontal one is x axis and the vertical one is y axis. So, if we take the point, okay, a point, it will be in this case is the point 5, 8. It means on the x axis or the x coordinate for me is 5 and the y coordinate for me is 8. Okay. So we know that x coordinate is always written first, and the coordinates a, b of a point on a graph represent x and y coordinate respectively. So we can pass to drawing the, the lines. Let's have a look on this example. Uh, the graph shows mapping on a rectang rectangular axis. For each graph, list the set of coordinates shown. What rule has been used for the mapping? Draw a function machine which will produce this map. Okay, so there are given some points on the coordinate system. If you join them, you'll see that they form a line, in fact. The first question for us is to list the coordinates. Okay, so let's list the coordinates. So the first one, this one, is what? 1, 3. You know how to show the coordinates. 1, 3. Okay. The second one is 2, 4. So let's write 2, 4. The third one is 3, 5. 3, 5. The fourth one is 4, 6. Then 5, 7. Five, seven. And the last one, the last point is what? 6, 8. 6 and 8. So these ones are the points that are plotted on the graph. We have to find a rule now for mapping these ones. If we take a look on the x coordinates, we can see that they are consecutive numbers. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the normal counting numbers. On the other side, we start 1, 3. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and so on. So what is happening between these coordinates? Can you have a look? The difference between, again, I'm taking the difference of the these values, if you think them as a function, okay, this one is input, this one is output. So the difference between them is 1, which means I have what? I have a multiple of 1. So if I ask you for the end point, what is the difference? 1 plus 2 makes 3, 2 plus 2 makes 4, 3 plus 2 makes 5, 4 plus 2 makes 6, 5 plus 2 makes 7. So, if I ask you for the rule, it will be what? At 2. Okay, the rule is only at 2. If you write in the form of the function, okay, or as a function machine, it will be what? y is equal to x or n so the input value plus 2 okay the input value plus 2 so this graph in fact is this function and today we are going to do this one so for these inputs 1 2 3 4 5 i will draw the graph 
of x which goes to x plus two x plus two okay so draw the graph let's draw the graph the coordinate system so we know that it is is the intersection of these two number lines So, 1, and the rule is x plus 2. So, if x is 1, it means 1 plus 2, the point will be 3. If x is 2, 2 plus 2, the point will be 4. 3, 3 plus 2, the point, the next point will be 5. Uh, 4 plus 2, the point will be 6, so I have 4, 6, and 5 plus 2, it means it is 5, 7. Okay, so on this side I have the x-axis, and here, y-axis. Okay, so these ones are the points. If we join these points, we'll get what? We'll get the line that we are looking for. So the question is draw the graph, the first one. The second B is draw the mapping diagram. What was mapping diagram? Mapping diagram was, okay, this one. So we'll have... Okay, you'll put the input and you'll find the output here. Input, output, okay, like this. You are going to complete it, I'm not going to do. Uh, list the ordered pairs of the mapping, okay, the list, uh, list is, means writing the points inside of the bracket okay the ordered pair x y okay so this one is a uh, list and which of this way do you prefer and why Okay, after you complete all of them, it means graphing, um, mapping, and then the list method, you have to say which one is more easy for you and why. This was exercise one. Now let's pass to exercise three. There are given the inputs, one, two, three, four, five, and we have to draw a graph uh, of the mapping of x coordinate to the y coordinate by using what? Using these functions. So if the input is x, the function will be y is equal to y is equal to 3x minus 2. 3x minus 2. Okay, we can show in this way too. So if the input is 1, let's find the points. If the input is 1, Okay, input is 1, it means x is equal to 1. Then what happened with y? y will be equal to 3 times 1 minus 2. Okay, so we have to substitute 1 in place of uh, x, which is equal to 3 times times 1 is 3 minus 2, 1. In the same way, we can continue. If x is equal to 2, then y is equal to 3 times 2 minus 2. 6 minus 2 is equal to 4. In the same way, if x is 
is equal to 3. Okay. Y is equal to, again, I have 3x3 times uh, 3 minus 2. So 9 minus 2 is equal to 7. If x is equal to 4, then y is equal to 3 times 4 minus 2, which is 12 minus 2 is equal to 10. And if x is equal to 5, we'll have y is equal to 3 times 5 minus 2, which is 15 minus 2 is equal to 13. So the points will be 1, 1, 2, 4, 3, 7, 4, 10, 5, 13. Let's plot these points. Okay, let's plot this point. So this one will be my y-axis and this one is x-axis. Now let's show them. 1, 1 is the point here. 2, 4. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4. 2, 4, 3, 7, okay, here I have the point, 3, 7, 4, 10, 4, 10, and 5, 3, 5, 13. Here we have the point, 5, 13. So let's draw the line. For these ones, okay, so this one will be the graph of the first line. At the second one, I have uh, 2x plus 3. So here I will only write the points, okay, you can perform the operations. So if x is 1, if x is 1, 2 times 1 is 2 plus 3, 5. Okay, the y will be equal to 5. Now it seems... Okay, it will mix a bit, so that's why I directly draw the line. So I have 1, 5. Okay, I have this point here. 1, 5. One, five. If x is 2, uh, uh, then it will be 2 times 2, 4 plus 3, 7. So 2... 7 okay if x is 3 6 plus 3 9 so it will be 3 9 uh, if x is 4 8 plus 3 11 so 4 11 if x is 5 uh, 10 plus 3 13 so 5 13. If we join these points, we'll get the line that we are looking for. Okay, so this one will be the other line. And x is equal to x. We can put the points 
see if x is one what is y y is one okay because it show me exactly the same point so if x is one y is one if x is two y is two if x is three y is three if x is four y is four if x is five y is five so we'll have exactly the same points on x axis and y axis so this one will be the line okay so these ones are the lines that can be drawn on exercise three exercise four again it is given a function machine that produce coordinates input and output okay if you input something you'll get the output if the three is the input the output is 10 okay so 310 will be the uh, the coordinates so list the set of coordinates produced when the inputs are 1 2 3 4 5 6 and then draw a graph to show the mapping label the axis okay so let's do it again i will write like this if x is equal to 1 it starts from 1 what is y y is equal to double the number it means 2 times 1 2 plus 4 what is 2 plus 4 6 so the coordinate will be 1 6 okay the coordinate is 1 6 okay if x is equal to 2 what is y y is equal to so 2 times 2 is 4 plus 4 8 so what are the coordinates the coordinates are 2 8 if x is equal to 3 is equal to 3 what is y y is equal to 3 times 2 6 plus 4 10 okay as the given example so what will be the coordinate 3 10 if x is equal to 4 then y is equal to what so double the x it means 2 times 4 uh, 8 plus 4 12 so the coordinate in this case will be 4 12 and in this way you can continue with 5 and 6 so now we have to graph this one so first of all let's draw the coordinate system we have to label x axis and y axis okay so this one is y axis and this one is x axis x and y so now let's show the points i have one six so one two three four five six the point one six two eight okay two eight three ten four twelve and so on it will continue so if we join these points okay we will get the line that we need sorry Okay, so this one will be the line that we have to, to draw. In the same way, we can continue with exercise 5. For exercise 5, I am going to solve only C. Okay. And then, um, okay, it says that we have to draw on the same axis these three lines. Uh, with different colors so let's see what we'll get so x go to 2x plus 3 
I'm finding the coordinates directly on the coordinate system, but, but please you have to do the operations or form a table here. Okay, so if x is one, minus 2, let's do the first one as the example. So to make it more easy, we can divide into this form. Okay, if here is x, here will be f of x or y, okay, which is 2x minus 1. So if x is 1, it means x will start the values from minus 2. To minus 1 then 0 1 and 2 okay so we'll give these values so it's better if you draw a table like this and for each of them we will find what are the values of y okay so if x is minus 2 it means 2 times 2 is 4 plus 3 7 so y will be uh, sorry if x is minus 2 it will be sorry if x is minus 2 minus 4 plus 3 will be minus 1 if x is minus 1 minus 2 plus 3 will be 1 if x is 0 2 times 0 0 plus 3 3 if x is 1 2 times 1 is 2 plus 3 5 if x is 2 2 times 2 4 plus 3 7 so these ones will be the points for the first line okay like this we'll find the other ones too i'll show only on the coordinate system so let's start. I have minus 2, minus 1. So is this point here. Okay, minus 2, minus 1. Minus 1, 1 is this point. 0, 3. Okay, so on the y-axis I am at the point 0, 3. 1, 5. And 2, 7. Okay, 2, 7. So let's join these points. This one is the first line. The second one, if x is minus 2, so minus 4 plus 1 will be minus 3. Okay, minus 2, minus 3. Let's take another color. Minus 2, minus 3 will be the point here. Uh, if x is minus 1, minus 2 plus 1 will be minus 1. So we'll have this point. If x is 0, we'll have 0, 1. If x is 1, we'll have 1, 3. If x is 2, 2 times 2, 4 plus 1, 5. So we'll have 2, 5. If we draw the line, it will be this line. Okay, and the other one is 2x minus 3. If x is minus 2, um, minus 4 minus 3 will be minus 7. So 2 minus 7 will have this point here. 2 minus 7. If x is minus 1, minus 2 minus 3 will be minus 5. So 1 minus 5. 0 minus 3 if x is 0. If x is 1, we'll have minus 1. If x is 2, 4 minus 3 will be 2, 1. So this one will be the third line okay let's join the points okay so these ones are the three lines that we have to draw 
So what can we find here? What do we notice? Uh, so what do you think? In fact, these three lines are, are parallel to each other. Okay, we can say that they are parallel. In the same way, okay, in the same way, we can solve uh, this kind of examples like this one, y is equal to 2x plus 1. As I explained in the first one, we can take some points and then find the values of x and y. Okay, so uh, copy and complete the mapping diagram for the mapping x to 2x. Write down the ordered pairs, show the mapping on the coordinate graph, join the points on the graph, what is the equation of the line. So it is given x goes to 2x, it means 1 goes to 2, 2 goes to 4, 3 goes to, what we'll get? So 2 times 3 will be 6. We are, the, we are just doubling the input, 4 will go to 8 and 5 will go to 10. Okay, so if we write the ordered pairs, we'll have what kind of ordered pairs? Ordered pairs means the point, don't forget. So I will have 1, 2, okay, 1, 2. Uh, then I will have 2, 4. Then I will have 3, 6. Four, eight, and five, ten. Five, ten. Okay, so these ones are the ordered pairs or the points. Okay, ordered pair, points. Let's show on the coordinate graph. So I have one, two, the point here, one, two, two, four. Okay, 3, 6, 4, 8, and 5, 10. Let's join the points. Okay, now can we write the equation of this line? Of course we can. So since it means uh, x, y is double x, it means we can write directly as y is equal to, sorry, 2x. So y is equal to 2x is the equation of this line. Okay, and this line passes through the origin. If, you see, if x is 0, y is 0. At exercise 3, you have to copy and complete the missing words. So I will leave you to complete this one on your book.